crank this guy up and see, uh, see if it works. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. Welcome back to the garage, post Hurricane Irma. Let me show you where I'm at. Replacing my piston, my head, and my cylinder. And I'm also gonna replace the oil pump with a high flow oil pump. And then later, probably not in this video, but definitely later, we're gonna do the external oil mod pickup from Andrew, who's in our Tampa Ground Squad. So runs from the case outside and just does a pickup instead of the internal uh, Finbrook straw design, uh, which I believe is a, a tighter pickup valve and also uh, prone to failure. So, uh, without further ado, let's jump back into the bike. So where we're at now is, as far as I got before the hurricane came and I had to close uh, shop and uh, put everything away, I got a new piston and new uh, cylinder in. So the piston's in, the cylinder's in. This is backed up. New gasket back there. I got a new head also with it. So I bought this off eBay off a guy who did a big bore kit. I just went ahead and replaced the head as well. I think you guys would be really interested in this little guy. Clear tappet cover for your top engine valve up here uh, where uh, you're going to see whether or not you get oil uh, in a uh, wheelie or just in general. So just to remind you, the reason my cylinder and piston started knocking was the fact that it was being starved of all oil due to that clog on the Fembro design. So. Uh, I couldn't see it. This is just a uh, reinforced, you know, if anything just feels weird, I can look down real quick and make sure oil is being shot up there. I know the next question you guys are going to ask is where did I get this from? Basically, it's a dude in Hawaii that doesn't have a website. You just message him on Facebook to get it. So before I put his information out there, I want to see if he wants to set up a website or some sort of way that we can get this to you guys. So go ahead and go to photogrammer.com and go to recommended vendors. If I have it listed there, then that's where you can get it from. All right, with all that being said, uh, I got the Farron's wrap. Not a big deal, but I wrapped these before the hurricane came. And it's a little hard to see right now, but they're actually wrapped black, matte black. The color that they were is that stock gray uh, color. But I just want to go with a black and white theme. So let me show you the other side, which I got the Farron's back on. So there's the black and white Farron's. I think it looks really sexy. I love it. I did put the blue Elite clutch lever up here. I'll link in the description and on the website for recommended vendors. And I threw a pink pro taper grip on that side. Put stock back on this side. So just trying to keep it as problem free as I can. So the reason I replaced the uh, throttle tube and all that stuff is because uh, when I was at the stunt lot and the idle died out and uh, the throttle might have died out as well. You know, I just stalled up in a wheelie and pretty much mouse trapped right into my head into the ground. <laughs> Which brings me to my next point. <laughs> Look what I have now. These are the official Moto Loop photogrammer, no loopies, key tags. I officially made it on YouTube. I don't even care about the 100,000 uh, subscriber plaque. This is what I wanted. So now I have a partnership with Moto Loop. Basically, every time you buy one, I get $4.50, which is awesome. That goes to extra parts and goodies for the bike. If you want to support the channel and rock a uh, pretty sweet reminder not to pull any loopies while you're riding, uh, there's going to be a link in the description below. Ding! If you guys want to be featured, just tag me on Instagram and I'll get you on there. Other thing I did that I didn't mention was from Steady Garage, just a little idle adjustment screw. So it's like $15 from Steady Garage. Uh, that way I can just adjust my idle when I'm at the stunt lot and not worry about it. So that's uh, pretty much the update here. Everything's uh, back to normal from the hurricane. It's uh, been a couple days now. I got all the boards off. Had my Victory Cigar and Corona. And uh, now I got the bikes out and getting the garage all together. Oh, bonus points. If you guys know who these two riders are, post in the comments below. Do it real quick, boom, boom. If you know who they are, post the comments below. I'll pin the winner. Extra bonus points if you can guess this guy as well. I know some of you will get it. Uh, but hanging up some artwork in the garage. Uh, just, you know, sweeped it out. Um, just clean it up a little bit more, get it back to where I want it. With that being said, I'm gonna cut. It's probably gonna be a day later. I'll be in different clothes because uh, I got some more things to do before I can start really diving into this. Uh, but I'm gonna cut here and we'll pick it right back up. There's something on the lens. <laughs> All right, we'll pick it right back up with the final reassembling uh, of uh, our stunt bike and we'll uh, get back to riding. So, break! <laughs> and welcome back! It has been a couple days, it is now nighttime, and I finally have time to dive back into this little guy right here. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is put in the high flow oil pump. So, that's gonna go in here, and I got that in my bucket of goodies over here. Pull this out. The Koso oil pump, I already put my plate on it and the gears, the OEM gears, um, but pretty simple process. So I'm going to throw that on right now. Again, I already have the new head on. I got the new clear tap covered on. I also have the new piston, new cylinder wall here. So that's all in. So all I have to do 
is really put the air box back on the home there, put the exhaust back on, fill it up with oil, change out the oil pump, and we should be able to crank this guy up and see if it starts. So, when I started this, I believe I said this is not going to be a typical uh, garage build series on this channel. It's just going to be like an overview, just kind of give you a top level stuff of what I'm doing. So, I'm going to dive back in here and knock it out, and then I'll check back in with you once everything is complete. We'll go over the upgrades and make sure it starts. All right, guys. Oh, but wait. <laughs> I got this printout here of that little guy. So I got did this light painting printout uh, a little while ago, and I made a printout on accident just testing out the printer. And uh, I want to give it away to one of you guys. So uh, most likes on the comment in a week, we'll win that. So post a comment and get the most likes and vote for your favorite comment below, and I'll send you that for free with some stickers. All right, guys. We'll be right back. Boop. All right, guys, everything's back up. We got Lando here. Hey, buddy. Looks like uh, powder. All right, so I'm going to put this guy in 1030, which Honda recommends. But we're in Florida, so normally I'll run 1040 Honda. Uh, this guy right here. EN4 Hoodiki Hoodiki Hoodiki. So I'll run that. Probably after like 50 miles, 100 miles, I'll take that out and see what it looks like. Um, but everything's back up. Got the airbox back on. Throttle body. I uh, put the oil pump in. Hooked up all the plugs, all that goodness. Now we're gonna put some oil in and uh, crank it up for the first time. Stand by. All right, guys, we got everything bolted back in. I'm gonna crank it up for the first time, see what happens, and uh, hope for the best. So here we go. Oh shit, that fucking hurt. That was a slow cage. I'm okay. All right, ready? Well, yeah. Moment of truth. What am I forgetting? Well, uh, it's got oil. Yeah, it's got oil. It's got a spark that's, plug, right? Yeah, that's it. Right? It's got fuel. Got fuel. Um, it's. I mean, it's pretty much. Uh... Wait, no exhaust. Ooh. I did that same thing to mine. Forgot the exhaust. Stand by. Oh, <laughs> All right, take two. We got the exhaust back on. Crank this guy up and see. Uh, see if it works. All right, cross your fingers. There we go. Oh, then I know. Have you tightened the rainbow already? Cam chain. Cam chain's making noise. Alright. Did you... Pause. Alright, go ahead. Pause the oil. Stop making that noise, isn't it? Sounds like it. It sounds normal, right? Oh, yeah. Squirt that oil. Sounds quiet. Sounds really good. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. I'm um, wondering, turn okay. it off and start it back up and see if see it makes it that noise again. Alright, go ahead. I don't know what that, it, it sounded like it was on that side of the cam chain something. Maybe it was just tightening up. You know what I like to think? Problem solved. High flow oil pump, COSO. Yeah, squirt baby, she's a squirter. <laughs> All right, guys, she sounds. Uh, let's go vlog style. All right, guys, she started up. She sounds amazing. Um, the oil's pumping, so we can see through that clear tapper cover. Um, we're gonna put the rest of the body pieces back together and uh, take it for a quick ride. So stay tuned. Oh my God, this feels weird. It's been two weeks, three weeks. How long has it been? Oh my god. This feels weird. I don't know how much this light's gonna pick up though on the camera. I still haven't figured out the low light settings yet. Alright guys, so uh, we are heading to the post office. I got some letters, some stickers, and some awards from PG Live to send out. 
and uh, we're just going to test the bike out make sure everything's going good with the uh the new piston and head and uh, cylinder wall and oil pump all that good stuff i'm still going to do like maybe a i don't know i'll do like 50 or 100 miles on this oil so i got 1030 in there and then i'll swap it out for 1040 and just see if there's any uh, shavings or anything in there make sure everything's good but right off the bat it sounds amazing very quiet someone's at the post office got the same idea as me this lady kind of gave me the, the stink eye, like motorcycle gang coming in. You're both doing it with helmets on? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Why not? Why not? Please, you side door. What? Which one's the side door? The side. You come in peace. <laughs> yeah, got me too. Yeah, I know. I almost ran into it. <laughs> Do a headbutt. All right. Ah, uh, she chill. She chill. Give me... All right, guys. So. If you want to pick up a No Loopies key tag, link in the description down below. I get $4.50 for everyone that's sold. True story. Let's see if uh, anybody loves me. Nobody loves me. <laughs> P.O. Box 634, Oldsmar, Florida. If you want to send something in, be featured on a motovlog, please do so. T-shirts are the best. Large, extra large, medium. All right, now I'm going to mail out some goodies. I got some sticker orders, so I'll give a couple shout outs real quick. All right, guys, so sticker orders for today. I still got some more to do. Um, I'll get them out tomorrow. Shout out to Dylan, Alex, CJ, Matt. And we got uh, words going out from PG Live. Mason, his got lost in the mail. And AZ Grommer, Mr. Charlie, coming your way. Appreciate the support, guys. If you want to pick one up, link in the description below. Same with the key tags. If you want to pick one of those up, link in the description below. All right, I'm going to send this out, and we'll be right back. Uh-oh. That was, that sucks. That was a lot of video. That was a lot of good content. Alright guys, so my GoPro apparently wasn't recording, but we're taking some photos using this uh, little old gas station here downtown. Uh, we got two different pictures, my photo and Lando's photo, both taken with the iPhone 7 Plus. Two different perspectives of this shot, but uh, here you go. Edited all on the iPhone using Lightroom mobile app. But ding here's Lando's. Ding! And here's Photogrammer's. Ding! So the bike's looking good. I just got to remove these stickers from up here like I did on this side. It's going to end up looking just like that. Black and white additions with the rear sets. I think it looks really clean. So uh, we might start. Lando's on obviously the blue bike. But uh, we might start a little series if you guys are interested. Let us know where we go around with just uh, with just our iPhones and take different photos. And uh, you know make it a little series of it. What are we going to call it Lando? Two ball guys, one camera. <laughs> Give us if you guys are interested in that. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let us know what the name should be. But uh, we'll go out and take some photos. Uh, Grommet it. Could be fun. But yeah, I think that's a good idea. So Lando and I will cruise around the Tampa Bay area with just our iPhones. And we'll take different photos. And, uh, you know, give you guys tips along the way. If you guys are interested in that, again, leave a comment down below. Let us know. Good little photo shoot area. Uh, we're going to head back. The bike is running great. Oil's running. Uh, head feels good. So, um, yeah, we're going to call it a video. But, um... Uh, but if you guys want to see that uh, series where we go around and take photos, leave a comment down below. Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, obviously the bike is back. Leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Sometimes I like to put like crazy shit at the, like, at the end. Like if you saw this, leave a dick emoji a dick use use your equal sign and semicolon to create a dick